Have you ever heard of the highest degree planet? It determines your soul's path. So you want to know what the planet is and you want to know what the sign is. It's Vedic Sidereal Astrology and it determines the purpose of why you came. So for instance, if yours is Saturn, then that means you've definitely signed up for some hard knocks, that you want to learn some tough lessons, but at the same time, you're a teacher for others. You may do that by being a boss or somebody in superiority or an authoritarian figure, or even as a parent. Maybe it's in Jupiter, so this lifetime it's going to be full of expansions. You won't really be able to sit still in one place because you're constantly growing and expanding your world. Maybe it's in the moon sign. The moon sign is extremely significant. So then you want to look up what your dasha is. You can all, or dasha. You can always text me, email me, askcollyhall.com and or you can go to my website and you can order a mini. It's like 1888 and you can find out what yours is. So if it's in the moon sign, then you're going to have some run-ins with moms and mothers-in-law, mother-in-laws, mostly with females. There's going to be a lot of lessons around your femininity and your feminine side. And you're going to be extremely in touch or forced to be in touch with your emotional side of who you are. If it's in the sun sign, then you're going to be forced into the limelight. You're going to be forced to define and redefine who you are. What if it's in Mercury? Everything's going to be around communication, learning, having a distance in communication with others. Maybe it's difficult to understand who they are and what they're trying to do for you in your life. Educational system can be an issue as well. But again, it really depends on what sign it's in. And of course, even the house placement could be in Mars. So it's the direction of your life. Your whole soul path will be constantly changing and being challenged to move in a different direction. Could be around anger management as well. What if it's in Venus? I have a client whose Venus, it's in the 10th house in Aries. I just did a, an emergency reading for her today and she's a rescuer. She's a rescuer. She does this in her job. She's a lawyer. She does this in her career, but she also does it with anybody that she loves. And so it seems like there's always challenges around the people whom she loves that always seem to be rescued. And she's going through a transit right now, which is Uranus going over that, which means now she's going to go through the separation of that, the distancing of constantly being the rescuer for somebody else that it's people that she loves. And she literally said, this is not my job anymore. And it's in the house, the 10th house of job. These are the most powerful planets in your zodiac, and they're also called king planets, or in Vedic, it's called at Makaraka. Isn't that cool? I've literally said to my clients, I could spend every day for the rest of your life reading your chart, and we still wouldn't cover everything. Namaste.